Okay, so you've got February coming along and we've got the energy of personal growth. So after going through a bit of anxiety and st stress in January, and feeling a bit victimized, you've got this personal growth coming. So maybe you come to realization that things are not as bad as they look. And you've got um, the child magical over here, which says, seeing the potential of sacred beauty in all things, the belief that everything is possible. So it seems like you'll get out of that slump that you went through in January in February because you know you've got the spring coming in um, you know things start to change the energy start to shift and now you start seeing that there is potential in everything you do maybe you get some good news and that really raises your spirits it seems like you might get some good news about money over here because you've got the sun in Capricorn over here you might get a promotion uh, and recognition you've got money coming out of the sky and there's something new that begins you've got a little bit of it you can see there's a child sitting in the sun over here You've got the goat over here, and even though it's winter out there, you've still got the sunflower growing in the soil over here. So that is showing that, you know, there is something good that is coming to you in um, February that just changes your whole attitude. You've got a lot of personal growth going on over here, and you start seeing the positive of life. It looks like there's new money coming in. You can see money falling from the sky, and it looks like you might... You might end up getting a lot of recognition, but it also be with the sun in Capricorn, it looks like there's a promotion coming in over here or a very stable job that pays quite a bit of money. And that is enough to change, you know, your attitude about uh, becoming more positive. So um, you've got the queen of water over here. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition and take care of yourself and others. So you've got the queen of water here, still a little bit of energies, uh, you know, feeling a little bit down or maybe a bit emotional rather um, in uh, February, you know, but it seems like there's something new coming in, you know, um, for you as far as the work front and a lot of money coming in. Uh, and you know, you're going to be able to hang on to it. It's four of pentacles, some stability coming on in your job. Maybe you got that promotion that you wanted, the raise that you wanted, or even acquiring a new job that you wanted. But definitely, uh, it's going to be pushing you up the career path here. And, uh, you know, you've still got a little bit of that, uh, you know, uh, emotional energy uh, from the previous month going through this card. So try to keep your uh, emotions in check. Try to uh, to be a bit more balanced. Um, and make sure that you're looking after yourself. <coughs> you know, go for a spa treatment or something like that. So you've got March coming in and you've got creativity. So there you've got the sun card coming in. So where the energies were a bit low in January and February, in March it definitely picks up and you've got the three. So a lot of action, a lot of activity, working with people as well. You've got the priest card over here, which says uh, a need to channel your spiritual energy. And you've got some, uh, you know, spiritual um Maybe you meet people that are are more, um, you know, in keeping with your the spiritual beliefs. And uh, you've got this energy coming in over here. You need to also channel any kind of intuition you have with this. So you are meeting a lot of people, communicating a lot of ideas to them as well. You've got the Ace of Cups, so something brand new coming in for you that's going to just make you feel extremely happy. You've got the power of water over here. This could be, um, you know, uh, sometimes this is an apology card, but it's a lot of peace, harmony, happiness, new friendships, you know, getting on. So it looks like, you know, with this um, in February, this new job uh, or your, your career takes off and you've got a lot of spirituality going on in 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 your personal life, but also um, you've also got a, a lot of, you know, meeting a lot of people that you get along with. And, you know, there's there's a harmony going on through this. And it's allowing you to access your creativity, this new job. With this three, it's, it's you might be working with people that you are uh, getting along very, very well with. You've got the seven of earth over here. So you're putting down roots, you're putting down new concepts. You are actually are getting more stable there's seeds well planted over here a temporary pause in action unnecessary worry so try not to be negative about anything that goes on just see it as uh, that you're starting to build the foundations for your new career and eventually this new tree will grow and it will produce abundance for you so whatever you started whatever new work you've started is going to um, start taking off in March working with a lot of people and you're now starting to build the foundations for this new career that you have going or this new job so it's something that's going to be, bring you long-term stability especially with seven of us there will be eventual financial rewards from it so you've got adventure visionary uh hierophant and uh ace of fire so this is all happening in april so there looks like there's a lot of activity you might be doing some traveling over here meeting new people and you've got a new concept in your head and a new concept that you're following so uh you know 
things are looking up for you. You start seeing that things are very exciting now and you start enjoying what you're doing with this adventure card. The second card is visionary. So you're able to, um, people are listening to what you've got to say. And, uh, you know, they, they feel that it's very, very interesting and they're, it's also extremely uh, groundbreaking. You've got the capacity to envision what is not yet conceived by others and the willingness to proclaim a wisdom without regard for personal gain. So you're putting out a lot of information into the world over here. You can see this person's talking. There's the world and background over here. So a lot of information coming. There might be travel for you or communicating on the international front uh, going on over here. And this is something that people didn't know. These ideas are coming and they're brand new from you. You've got the Hierophant card over here. So you can see with the Visionary and the Hierophant, these are both of the same um, category really. The Hierophant is the person who has all these uh, groundbreaking concepts that they want to put out. It might involve something to do with money or financial institutions if you're working with that kind of thing, but also whatever information you're putting out to the world is very, very new. And with the Hierophant is talking to big groups of people, so you are communicating on a very international level over here, and your ideas are very, very... Um, People are very impressed with your ideas, and this these ideas are the things that are going to generate finance. You've got the Ace of Fire over here, so you've got this new concept that is going out, an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. So it looks like whatever whoever you're working with on an international front, so you're going sort of global right now with the Ace of Fire that... Energy is now uh, put into motion here and you've got a new opportunity to do something really big coming in. So um, April looks like a month that's going to change a lot of things. You've got the v adventure card. So you're really going, uh, you know, on a broad Word, worldwide wide scale, really. You're, you're getting your concept out there and you're um, speaking to a lot of people and you're coming across as being almost a teacher, uh, a visionary. And you're beginning this new um, project or this new enterprise. So a lot of fire, a lot of energy. And this, uh, since you are a fire sign, you know, you're know you going to be in your element over here. You're in charge and a lot of people are going to be listening to you. So you're taking control in April. So you've got May coming up, using your intuition a lot. A mentor, Ace of Swords and the Six of Fire. So like I said, um, you know, uh, go by whatever you know is best. Uh, and you know what to do because, um, you know, you've got all this information with you and you're able to uh, put it out there. And you have to take the leadership role, really. With a mentor card, it says passing on wisdom and refining uh, a student's character. So it looks like you're doing a lot of teaching, mentoring. You're taking the lead. Uh, you know, you are the one that is in charge. You're taking people under your wing as well, it seems, over here. So maybe you, you've got a group of people that you are nurturing or you are teaching or you are training up uh, during this particular time. The intuition role is also taking charge and knowing what to say, knowing what to do. And people are looking at you as being very, very wise during this particular period. So this is in May. You've got the Ace of Swords, so a lot of communication going on over here with you. Uh, you've got the power of air. You're also getting rid of all the nonsense or, or ideas that are not working for you, things that are not working for you in the past. You're cutting it out. But it looks like you um, are getting into this... Um, uh, phase where you are talking a lot just putting out that information and this is all groundbreaking information people didn't think of things the way you're going to uh, portray them so you know you're stirring up the pot you can see there's a lot of activity a lot of um you can see there's almost a whirlwind going on over here so you're bringing out uh, a lot of new ideas this might involve business you've got a bit of the caduceus sign over here but it involves a lot of thought a lot of information so a lot of intellectual work going on in may you've got the six of fire over here so victory good news is on its way public recognition or awards so whatever you've been saying people are listening for and you're gathering quite a uh, good following if you're a teacher then people are listening to what you've got to say um, and you've got the six of fire there's an achievement over here and a victory card so um, the achievement a lot of people recognizing your skills and giving you your accolades so there might be some kind of an award or definitely in a promotion, something coming up for you that puts you right there in the spotlight happening in May. So in June, you've got a big change coming in for you. You've got the King, the Three of Swords and the Knight of Air. So uh, the change says, uh, you know, it speaks for itself. So big things happening for you that you've put into motion in May. The King says enlightened, benevolent leadership, 
benefiting those in your charge. So you're definitely getting some sort of promotion, some sort of leadership role, and you are being seen as that person who is an authority at whatever they do. So you might get that promotion because you reached that authority figure um, status, or you're in charge of so many people, they have so much of regard for you that they put you right up there. And this is, you know, there's a big change that brings you into, uh, raises your uh, position really um, in whatever job or whatever situation you have. You're becoming much known, um, you know, very renowned in what you're doing. There's a three of swords over here. So there's a, a bit of um, imbalance in uh, your work life as far as communication and partnerships going. You might have a little bit of problems with people that you work with. Maybe not everybody agrees with everything you're saying. There might be some kind of legal issue that comes in as well that causes a little bit of a problem over here. But you're a bit upset about what happened. So there might be people that are causing a little bit of problems over there in what they're saying and that's affecting your balance. And this could well be in your work life. Um, so that going on in the Three of Swords because this is the separations card. You're having to, maybe people leaving your arena, maybe people not getting um, on with you, maybe you're leaving them. So you are having a little bit of problems and a little bit of separation going on over there. A little bit of upset coming on in June with people that you work with. Or this could even be in your personal life. Um, but uh, since it's a Saturn card, it might well, and, uh, you know, it's um, liberalized relationships. So this could well be that maybe maybe you and your partner have a little bit of a tiff going on over here. Or this could be people that you're quite close to, to uh, that you work with. But there's definitely some sort of separation going on there. Uh, with Saturn, it would more indicate more of a work situation going on um, rather than a personal uh, issue going on. So you've got the Knight of Air over here, which is time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments and a guardian angel. So you'll be working pretty hard at your job uh, with this Knight of Earth. Um, it's, uh, you know, it looks like it is something to do with um, communication of information. Uh, maybe it's something to do with communication about money information. Uh, but working very, very hard. Night of Earth is a very slow night, works pretty hard and pays a lot of attention to details and is very practical as well. And, uh, you know, it, it might be... Um, it's not a night that moves, um, so you won't be changing your job, but you definitely be buckling down and doing a lot of hard work and having to go through things with a fine tooth comb. So paying a lot of uh, attention and focusing a lot on your work uh, in order to make uh, that money come in. So you really will be working hard in June for your money. So you've got uh, patience over here in July. Um, this is in July. You've got um, an artist card here, the chariot, and the sixth of earth. So uh, having to wait for things to happen. You're going to have to take your time, take it easy, and put your energies into it. The two is about balance. It's also about making choices and waiting for things to happen with this um, card. You've got the artist over here expressing dimensions of life that is just beyond the five senses, inspiring others to see life difficulty differently. Sorry. So whatever you're doing, you're really enjoying it. And you're putting that artistic flair that you have into it. And you're allowing people to change their vision or change their views. Uh, and, you know, it's a gift that you have. It's something that you nobody else can do. So you're, you're very... Uh, expert at what you're doing and nobody they can't find this kind of expertise from other people what you're giving back to the world is extremely important and it's changing a lot of lives you've got the chariot card over here which is um a card of achievement uh generally in the deck uh, this could also might it could well mean that you're buying a new home or even a new car as well with this uh, card um so this could well be a whole move that you're going to be making in um, July. You might be thinking of buying something new over here. But there are some family issues that you are dealing with over here um, in July as well. You've got the Six of Earth over here, which says gifts of money, time or effort, a new career opportunity, receiving um, a loan or paying off debts. So you're getting your finances in order with the Six of Earth. You are sorting through that. Um, it looks like there's some kind of offer being made to you as well. This could mean why you're moving it could well mean a, mo a home move or buying a home somewhere else in order for you to do your work there. It's the same job, but somewhere else, um, moving to somewhere else. And, you know, you might be earning a little bit more money in this new post that you get. So there could well be a career change shift for you coming up in July. In August, you've got a comic completion, which is a 10. Um, you've got shapeshifter, uh, strength and balance 
So something has ended, some kind of cycle ending in your life. Uh, maybe the old, you're getting rid of that finally, and you're finishing off that particular uh, aspect. Um, you've got the shapeshifter, which says, you know, you need to just go with the flow. Don't be negative. See the positive or the potential in everything. So you're going to have, while this karmic cycle ends, you're going to have to look for other things to do or other ways to get your message across or, or carry on on your life's journey. So you're going to have to um, go through every single option that becomes available for you and look for new opportunities or look for new options and see the potential. So you're going to have to do a lot of thinking and, you know, really think outside the box. You've got the strength card over here. So a lot of hard work as well coming in over here, but a lot of success coming in over here. This is also a time that if you're in a relationship, this improves. Any problems with health improves as well. So really, maybe a time to take a little bit of a break, a little bit of a holiday, and uh, reassess uh, your goals, and also um, you know get yourself back into balance. And you can see that's coming in here with the balance card, a need for balance and moderation, cooperation, and compromise, wait for perfect timing. So it looks like this is a time where there's a big change coming in for you. You're completing something. You need to be looking for, for new ideas and new concepts to follow. You've got the strength card coming in over here. So... You know, you want to do something new, you're putting in all the hard work, but it looks like, and it's a time for healing and a time for good relationships and finding balance. But it might also be a time for you to take a break in the sun and go and have some fun as well. That's happening in August. <clears throat> and it's usually the time around your birthday. So, you know, it is a time for you to reassess all your goals. So you've got healing coming on in, um, this is in September. You've got healing coming on here. The Child Divine, Six of Wands, and the Five of Fire. So, uh, you know, a big um, a big shift happening in September with all this energy here and these good vibes that happened in, um, you know, a change coming in that karmic completion coming up for you in July. In September, it's an hour time to heal, uh, get yourself in order. So if you have any health concerns or any, uh, any kind of problems, you need to get yourself sorted out. And, you know, if it's a spiritual healing thing, then you need to go back within yourself and use your intuition and decide how you want to proceed from there. You've got um, the Child Divine over here, which says innocence, purity, and suggests a special connection with the Divine. So maybe you are addressing your spiritual issues over here, uh, you know, trying to get back to your uh, roots or trying to get back, uh, you know, a concept what you want to do really for the rest of your life. And you might be addressing your spirituality at this particular moment. Um, so that coming in for you, you've got the five of water over here, which says, oh, sorry, six of, uh, wands over here, sorry, that follows the child divine, which says, uh, Jupiter in Leo over here. So, you know, you are getting a lot of recognition during this month of September, people really taking note of what you've been doing and putting you really up there. So they are putting you on a pedestal over here and you are, uh, you know, achieving a lot. There's a lot of expansion with Jupiter. It's a planet of expansion, uh, getting your concept out there and, you know, becoming much more famous, if you like, uh, during this particular month. A lot of recognition coming in over here. And you've got the five of water over here. So things not turning out the way you hoped, not seeing the positive in the situation. So you need to actually stop looking at things that you didn't achieve and start focusing on the things that you can achieve really within this month. Um, so, you know, changing your focus from disappointment to one of having hope. Uh, so look at what you can achieve, what's remaining in your life. You have got a lot of victory and a lot of uh, recognition coming in over here and a lot of healing. So maybe healing from past problems that you had and not crying over things that you didn't achieve in the past now looking for the for looking to the future finding a new path in your life so in october you've got a self-discipline uh the hermit the ten of wands and the queen of earth so it does look like you're going to have to knuckle down in um in october here uh, and you know get yourself going so whatever energies you have that have been running a bit right with your emotions you've got to get yourself back in order again and practice some self-discipline so any negative thoughts you're going to have to get rid of it and really well really get on with things you know with the self-discipline card it looks like you are going to be focused and getting yourself back in order again you've got the hermit card of here which is seeking solitude and um, personal uh, creativity 
So with this Hermit card, it's like having the, um, the Hermit in the Tarot deck, which is ruled by Virgo, which is really a card where you start concentrating on yourself, concentrating on your work, and becoming an expert at what you do. But doing the, you know, doing it to the best of your ability, spending time a lot, a lot of time doing a lot of research, a lot of studying, a lot of time spent by yourself, um, you know, for self and personal growth or growth within your career. And this is how you will generate money or generate your dreams. Or, or move forward, really. You got the Ten of Wands over here, uh, Saturn in Sagittarius, um, which is showing that you know there might be a restriction to your freedom here. Saturn is usually a card of restriction. You can see there's a lot of rods over here. So whatever you're working uh, with. Uh, you know, you might be feeling a bit restricted. Maybe there's a lot of burdens. You're taking on a lot of responsibilities. Maybe you are responsible for a lot of people. And you can see this lightning rod. Uh, you know, maybe uh, something comes in uh, that causes a little bit of uh, upset for you. So some message coming in uh, that is going to cause a little bit of problems. Uh, you are feeling a bit down, of, you know, a bit stressed out, maybe a bit... Um, loaded with all the weight of what everybody else is saying or things that are going on around you it is part of oppression so you are feeling uh, the stress and the strain of the work situation at this particular moment maybe this is the reason why you're you're a bit snowed under let me put it to you that way with this hermit card and uh, you know the focus is on work and you know you're getting um, to have to do a lot of things, taking on a lot of responsibilities. You've got the Queen of Earth over here. Uh, so you are working pretty hard. You're trying to be very practical. And, um, you know, the Queen of Earth is, although it's a money card, it's also a card about being very, very dedicated to your work and working very, very hard. So you're in charge of a lot of people. And because of that, you've got the Ten of Wands. You might be completing projects. And this is the reason why you feel this sense of repression or you feel the sense uh, where, you know, you're being, um, there's a lot of work and you're very tied up with this work and you're having to spend a lot of time uh, getting things sorted out. So uh, in October, it's, you know, uh, a little bit of hard work, well, a lot of hard work really coming in, but you need to be very focused, very creative, and you're going to be in charge, and it's going to be generating money for you, but it's going to take a lot of your time and your effort and a lot of your focus. Uh, so, uh, you know, try and keep your health up, make sure you're getting a good break from time to time, and don't let yourself get stressed or snowed under by all this work that comes along for you in October. So in November... You've got a love partnership or love and relationships going on. Those are issues that um, um, come to light. You've got the servant card over here. So, so still working pretty hard uh, from October. Maybe this starts affecting a bit of your partnerships because you've got so much of time that you're spending with your work. So, you know, you need to try and make time. Uh, so that your uh, relationships don't suffer because you are working very, very hard for a lot of people, doing a lot of things that are above and beyond, uh, you know, what is required of you. So you need to prioritize basically in this month. You've got the three of ones here as well, which is showing that you're working pretty hard. Establish strength, but people are uh, seeing that your work, you know, your work is paying off, but you are also working with a lot of people. Uh, you are in charge of a lot of people. And it's almost like, they can't do without you. So you are in charge of them, uh, but it is having a little bit of a knock-on effect on your relationships and partnerships because you're working so hard. You're taking almost that role of leader and servant. So you're actually multitasking and doing everybody's work as well as your own. So a need to delegate as well, but a good communication going on and whatever you've put into action is now starting to pay dividends as well in November. Ten of water, so uh, contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional material needs are being met trustworthy relationships so it looks like there might be a little bit of issues going on in the family life because you're so focused on your work life you need to actually open um, you know make make time for your family in order for you to get rid of any kind of problems that might arise maybe you're not spending enough time with them you're too work focused at this particular time with uh, you know um, so your relationships are suffering as well uh, but you need to actually uh, communicate with them, spend some time with them, and that will sort that problem out. So in November, uh, working really hard, but make time for people that you love as well. So in December, the end of the year, you've got uh, effort, child wounded, um, the six of pentacles, and you've got the nine of water. So it looks like, you you know, all this effort looks like it will pay off. You've got a nice 
a yellow background over here and yellow is usually a card of abundance um, so uh, some abundance coming in for you here um, and you know one and three is four it's the card of stability so abundance and stability coming in for you in December you've got the child wounded so there might be uh, you know a uh, uh, there's a need for forgiveness. If you're having any issues with people, you need to just forgive, forget, and move on. I haven't known um, Leos to actually be people that hold uh, grudges for a long time. So any kind of problems you have, you need to actually you know, just forget about it and move on. It might be also time that you spend with children or family. And it is December, so it is. it looks like there is a time for reconciliation coming in as well in December. <clears throat> excuse me you've got the six of pentacles so a lot of prosperity coming in over here you can also see children uh and you know it looks like whatever project you have is now going to be paying off for you uh so they've got moon in taurus over here so a lot of personal growth and personal wealth coming in with this moon in taurus um in december so a good payoff from all the hard work that you've been doing for the year things start to look up and pay off and you've got the nine of water. I and this is the best card to end off. Your wish come true. Your wishes come true. Concerns fade away. A love of life. So you're getting everything that you want and make a wish in December because you're getting what you want. Prosperity coming for you. Uh, and you know there's a lot. Although you have put in a lot of effort, uh, you're finally achieving everything that you wanted to achieve in um, December. 